Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start my declutter series and we are going to start today with foundations. This includes BB creams, CC creams. I counted before I sat down and did this video. I have about 25 foundations. That's way too many for anyone to have. And honestly, a lot of these I bought over the summer last year and they're just old and gross and I never use them. If you're a fan of Declutter series, then give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump into my ridiculous amount of foundations. First, I have this Maybelline BB cream. This does not have the salicylic acid in it. I really like it. It's light to medium sheer tint, so I am going to keep this one. Next, I have the Maybelline Dream Pure BB. This is the one with salicylic acid in it, and it says light sheer tint, and I love this as well, so I'm going to keep this. You know what? Going back, I don't need to pure BBs by Maybelline. I'll give away the salicylic acid one because I just, I don't find that it does really much for my skin. So I'm going to keep this one without it. Next, I have two Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundations, one in nude and one in classic ivory. I'm going to keep the one in classic ivory just because I never use the nude one. Next, I have this Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. This is in light medium and I'm gonna keep this because if you guys saw back to my, my BB cream showdown, then this one won. So I am definitely gonna keep this one. Next I have this Alme Smart Shade CC Cream. It says it's light medium. I don't, I don't use it. Really, I wish I did but it's, I've had this since last summer and I just, I don't use it very much. So I'm going to get rid of this. So this one is a big bummer for me. I don't know what it was, but I did not like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Now you can kill me in a second. Let me tell you why. First, the color was weird. It looked like it oxidized a little bit. I just think it's too heavy for me. I just wasn't happy with the color selection and I didn't like how it sat on my skin. I feel like it emphasized my pores because it was so mattifying. I like matte, but this is just a little too out there for me. So I'm gonna get rid of this. We're three down. 8,000 to go. I have this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the oil-free one. I wish I used this more. No, you know what? I'm gonna keep this because I really wanna try it out more. I mean, it's pretty. I think I just need to play around with it a little more. Ignore these swatches. They would not come off from my hand. I just think what I need to do with this product is, see, it's really pretty when it's blended in. It smells like sunscreen. But I'm gonna keep this just for the days that I don't want to wear foundation or BB cream. I just, I will skip my moisturizer and I don't want to put, um, I don't want to put foundation and sunscreen on. So I'm just going to keep this just for the fact that it does have SPF 20 sunscreen in it. I just think it would be really pretty in the summer. Next I have two Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. One in 120 Classic Ivory and one in Ivory. I don't need both colors. I'm going to keep this one because I bought this one not too long ago and this one needs to be thrown out. So bye. I bought this MAC Matchmaster Foundation. I just... Something about this formula doesn't... I really like the way this for, this foundation is packaged. Like, it's just a little click and it's a pump. I really like this, but you know what? I've had this for like two years. I need to get rid of it. And I wasn't too happy with how it sat on my skin. I feel like it gave me more acne than it really was worth. I have this better Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. There was a lot of hype about this foundation. I was really excited to go get it. It's not good. It's just not. I thought I liked it, but I don't. So I am going to throw this away. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these foundations are old and that's why I'm throwing them away rather than giving them to someone else. Next foundation I have is this Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. Say that eight times. Now it's just, it's kind of like the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, which I gotta go get the. So next I have this Stila Stay All Day Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. Say that eight times. This is, it kind of looks like a, um, a cushion foundation, just the way it's formulated, but it's not. You open this up and it's really pretty. The problem is it gets like hair in it. Like it's a really pretty foundation and it's really light and almost airbrushed. And it's like, powder almost. So I'm going to keep this because this is kind of like my only powder 
ish foundation that I have for the summer that is my summer shade. So I'm gonna keep this. Next I have the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. This is great. <laughs> I love this foundation. If you saw my April favorites, which should have gone up like a couple weeks ago, then you know I love this foundation. This is so good. Lightweight, but it still provides a lot of coverage. You can build it up really easily. And even though it says luminous on it, I can still wear it and I have oily skin. I just put powder on it and I'm fine. So I love this. I'm keeping this. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I love this stuff. This is obviously not my shade right now. So I am going to keep this for the summer. Um, I just have to kind of like powder my neck a little bit just to match. I think this is beautiful. It's full coverage and I think it's beautiful. I love the packaging. It kind of comes with this like weird applicator. This is what it comes with, which is kind of cool. It allows you not to use too much foundation. So I'm going to keep this. Next I have this Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation in Natural Beige. I really need to get rid of this. Do you guys see this? Like it's coming off of the foundation. Yeah. Okay. This is going away just for the fact it broke off. You see that section in the cap that's missing? It's right here. All right, well that's for sure going away. Just for the mere fact that this is no longer like whipped, it's like dried, just flat. It's old, it's bad, oh God. I do really like this formula though. It is a little heavier, just keep that in mind, but I will be buying another one just because this one is so old. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation. I am so, you guys are gonna be so bummed about this, but I, don't think I like this. It gave me a bunch of white bumps on my face and I don't like that. I tried so hard to like this foundation and the packaging is beautiful, but I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it to try and fix my skin just because I put this on it. I'm gonna part with this. That sucks, but I'm gonna part with this. I just, I did not like this. Next I have this Smashbox Ready BB Water and I love this. It's really lightweight and I love the little dropper. It's just like, Really interesting. I think that this is great for summer, again, for lightweight foundation. You don't want like a, most people don't want a really matte, heavy, greasy, cakey mess on their face during the summer. So I'm gonna keep this just for those lighter days. Next is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I'm keeping this. There's no way I'm parting with this in the history of ever until I have to buy a new one. This is so good. This is my favorite matte foundation. It's completely replaced the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I thought that was my holy grail, but no, this is. And the packaging is beautiful. Do you see that? It's so pretty. And this guy. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Ugh, I'm bummed. But this makes my face break out just like the Born This Way one does. It's so bad. I love it. It is my holy grail for like events. And I almost want to keep it just for like days that... I have something to do or like I need my foundation to stay, but it's just like it makes these white bumps pop up and I just, I I spend weeks trying to get rid of them just because I wore this two days in a row. I'm gonna get rid of it because I do have the Fiona Styles Matte Foundation. If I didn't have that, I might be tempted to keep this. I gotta say bye. Bye. We had fun, except you broke me out. Okay, so the next foundation I have is the EX1 Inv Invisiwear Foundation. I wanted to like this. Number one, the packaging I think is tacky. It's just plastic. And for how much I paid for this, I should not have gotten a plastic. Like this should be nice. What my issue with this foundation is even the lightest color, I have, I'm an F100, even the lightest color is too dark for pale people like myself. So I can only use this in the summer for three months. On my tannest day, I can wear this, but otherwise I just can't. So I'm gonna say bye. This is the Revlon Color Stay in beige natural and I think I'm gonna keep this just because I hear that this is very similar to the to the Estee Lauder double wear just a drugstore version so I'm gonna I have not tried this out yet but I'm gonna see if it's similar and I can get away with this without it breaking me out so I'm gonna keep this next I have the cover fx custom cover drops oh, I'm torn because this is what I use to darken my foundations like my lighter uh, winter foundations. This is what I used to darken it, but it's like, look at that wand. It just looks like watery, but soggy. I'm, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. I don't want to, but I think it's past its due date. I really like it though to darken up foundations. It's, it's wonderful to darken up your winter foundations. So I will repurchase this. So these are the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating. Hydra I said that weird. Hydrating foundations. They don't have a color for me in this range. That sucks because I feel like I don't 
Like, I'm going to keep having to buy 15 ivory and 10 porcelain ivory because this is way too pink for me and this is way too yellow for me. I'm going to have to keep combining them. I almost want to say bye to them because... I just am not a huge fan of the way it sits on my face. It feels really heavy. I don't really want a super heavy foundation on my face. It's like whip texture that's really heavy and can get cakey really easily. So I think I'm going to say bye to these. I don't know. I'm trying to be harsh. I'm trying to get myself down to the foundations that I really love. All right. My last foundation, if you guys have stuck with me, that's awesome. Thank you. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. Keep in this because this is beautiful. You just take the little cap off and this is an awesome like to go foundation kind of thing. If you don't have a lot of time, you just kind of wipe it on your face and just rub it in and go. I love this. It's an awesome formula. I do not like the liquid version of this, but I do like the stick version. I don't know if there's a formula difference, but I just like them different, but I'm keeping this. So all together, I got rid of 14 foundations. I got rid of more foundations than I kept. I'm surprised. I'm proud of myself. Is anyone else proud of me? Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, I will keep this as a series throughout my channel, kind of decluttering, getting rid of items that do need to be thrown out or they just don't work for me or I'm just over them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed and joined the family. So yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.